welcome to You Reach On a 120, a list of 120 things that I learned while obtaining my computer science degree at the University of Regina. I'm Jeff Cliff. Uh, this is just a short uh, or a series of short videos. Um, you may ask why 120? Well, there's 120 credit hours at, in a degree, and so you'd think that I would be able to come up with 120 things that I actually learned that were important, uh, given how much money I spent on the damn degree. Uh, so here we go. What is the third idea here? Uh, it pertains to procrastination uh, and the consequences of procrastination. Uh, and I think this is a very important lesson for all students to learn, whether they have to learn it through uh, their own experience or from observing it in others. What does procrastination look like, of course? Uh, stuff like video games, wasting time on the internet. Uh, doing more or less important things than what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, Paul Graham has a great essay which you can, of course, procrastinate by reading, uh, where he details uh, that it is, of course, possible to procrastinate by doing more important things than you're supposed to be doing. Go check it out. Uh, you could, of course, look at pictures of cats on the internet. Uh, that's becoming more common with time. Uh, and, of course, what is the internet for? Porn. Um, that happens too. So. There's, you can spend time with people who are not directly related to what you're studying. You can engage in status games where you're trying to obtain some kind of reward or, or status within a group uh, that is not, strictly speaking, related to your degree or whatever it is you're trying to obtain in life. Uh, anything that goes into the rubric of what you're, or not what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, this is, of course, a pretty broad thing. Uh, but it happens, and you can look for it when it happens, and you should look for it when it happens in your life, because uh, the consequence is um, you will suffer if you procrastinate, and the suffering is related to your procrastination, and if you pay attention to when you're suffering as part of your degree, and when you're stressed out, uh, and when the deadlines come and you're not ready, Look back to see if you have, in fact, procrastinated during the time that was allocated towards whatever it was that you were supposed to do. Uh, you can budget your time, uh, but if you do budget your time, uh, take note that you may end up procrastinating instead of actually doing what you had intended as part of your time budget. You may want to measure the amount of procrastination that you engage in. However, be wary that measuring procrastination may end up being a means of procrastinating so you want to be careful when doing that. It really sucks when you end up procrastinating when you really shouldn't be. I've seen people cry. I've seen people break down and have panic attacks. And these are some really, really smart people. People who you would think would be smart enough to know the consequences of their procrastination is leading them to their current emotional state. However, in the heat of the moment, they often do not see this, even though they are really smart people. It is very tragic and ultimately avoidable. Uh, I caution you, you're, you're probably going to end up ignoring my advice here, but uh, as someone, again, who has gotten a degree and wasted money on learning this particular lesson, uh, see if you can avoid it. And if you can't avoid it, uh, try to be conscious of it. Try to actually pay attention to the fact that you are procrastinating, or at least if you come to the end of a deadline, you're not ready, and you look back and you realize you had procrastinated, that that, in fact, occurred. Uh, the consciousness of your procrastination may end up help uh, nudging you towards not procrastinating in the future. That is, of course, the goal. So, uh, again, this has been a video on procrastination. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. If you have any questions or comments or would like to you know, violently disagree or something, there is going to be open comments for you to leave. Uh, a, your say. So uh, again, this was Jeff Cliff. Hopefully you enjoyed.